and a World War II veteran is celebrating his 100th birthday with the World War II Airborne Demonstration Team in Frederick. Dylan Jimenez went out today to see the demonstration honoring the veteran. It was a big day for Lieutenant Colonel David Hamilton. I'm just very happy to be here, particularly among friends. Uh, I've been coming here for five or six years and they're just wonderful people. The last World War II D-Day Pathfinder pilot is celebrating his century mark with the Frederick World War II Airborne Demonstration Team. Hamilton boarded, co-piloted, and completed the demonstration. At 100 years old, I never thought I'd have that happen, but it happened today. As Hamilton rode in the aircraft, memories of his service, including D-Day and other operations, were relived. Well, Normandy had to be the big day of my life, really, flying, because that was the biggest day of World War II as far as I was concerned. I was fortunate enough to be in a very elite outfit called the Pathfinders, and uh, we were only 20 crews, but we were the top of the spear that invaded Normandy. We went in ahead of all the other airplanes and uh, dropped our paratroopers to set up the radars on the different drop zones. And after 100 years, Hamilton shares his secret to longevity. Well, I don't know. Good genes and the bad aim of a lot of anti-aircraft guns. Dylan Jimenez, KFDX 3 News. Wow. Now for more information about the World War II Demonstration Team Foundation, head over to our website.